Hello and welcome back to the channel where once again it's time for some more Saturn versus PlayStation action. Today we've got two games that came out at very similar points in time, both mid-1996. I'm talking about Athlete Kings on the Sega Saturn and International Track and Field on the PlayStation. So first up for visuals this week is the Saturn and Athlete Kings, as you may well know, runs in the Saturn's high resolution mode at 60 frames per second, meaning we're getting a really sharp, crisp looking game that is very smooth and well animated as well. Everything about the visuals for Athlete Kings is really, really appealing, whether we're talking about all the events, the characters, all the text overlay in the menus, it's bright, colorful and very clear and sharp. So overall in the visual department, Athlete Kings is a very appealing title. So moving over to the PlayStation and you will notice that track and field has a very similar graphical style. The stadiums are of really similar quality to Athlete Kings, but you will straight away notice there are four participants in the running races, which is instantly more impressive. The downside is the game runs at a lower resolution. The character models don't look as good or as individual. They look very, very generic on this game, which is boring. And the text and the overlays just aren't quite as vibrant or colorful, and the game doesn't run as smooth as Athlete Kings. So for those reasons, in the looks department, the winner this week is the Saturn with Athlete Kings. So moving on to the sound effects and music next, in terms of all of the athletics events on both games, both of the titles sound pretty decent, all the sound effects are perfectly good for what they are, bringing home the feel of all of these different athletics events to your home console. Now where there's differences start in the fact that Athlete Kings has voiced characters and this helps add much more character to the game. The characters on Athlete Kings already stand out because they're fake characters made up, made to look unique and individual and sometimes goofy as well. It gives the game more appeal and the voices suit those characters too so it's a definite plus point over track and field another thing i found with track and field is that the little bits of music within the game get repetitive really quick i don't know why this bugs me but it does they just start to grate on me whereas the music in athlete kings i find it much more appealing and much better to listen to time and time again so for all of these said reasons athlete kings comes out in the sound department on top So moving on to gameplay next, and if you've played both of these games, then you'll know that they play a very similar game. Most events involve you smashing some run buttons to build up speed, and then pressing the action button to pull off whatever the action may be for the event, whether it's throwing a javelin, throwing a shot put, or even just ducking your head at the end of the 100 meters. There are differences with the gameplay though is the fact that Athlete Kings has a little bit more variety. For example, if you do the discus event, you'll be rotating the D-pad to build up your speed. And this adds a bit more variety as well. Just like if you're doing the 1500 meters, you'll be controlling your character with the D-pad. And I feel overall Athlete Kings control scheme is just slightly tighter and slightly better. And it makes the game just a little bit more enjoyable to play. So in the gameplay department, Athlete Kings runs out the winner here too. In terms of content, we've got 10 events on Athlete Kings and 11 events on International Track and Field. A lot of the events are the same, such as 100 meters javelin, 110 meter hurdles, but there are some differences such as track and field having swimming. In terms of a one player experience, you've got arcade mode, decathlete mode and practice mode on Athlete Kings, whereas International Track and Field just has an arcade mode and a practice mode. Where track and field is better is the fact that it has a four player multiplayer experience in comparison to Athlete Kings 2. So if the games have a similar amount of content, then surely their lifespans are similar as well. And it's not quite the case because Athlete Kings has superior visual presentation, superior sounds and plays better and is more enjoyable to play. And it's the kind of game that you will come back to every so often, even 20 odd years after it's been out, you'll go back to it, have a blast and have an, have an enjoyable time on it. I don't feel international track and feels the same. I never get a feeling to just turn that on and play it, whereas I do with Athlete Kings, which means Athlete Kings lifespan is superior. So of course that leaves us with our final question, which game comes out on top? And it won't be much of a surprise when I say it's Athlete Kings, it's just that little bit better in visual presentation, audio, 
gameplay and as a result of all of those it's got a better lifespan as well now i know a lot of people are going to be thinking oh he's just picking games that the saturn's going to win at it's not the case and i think as the weeks and months go by we'll see a big change in the score but at the moment the score is 5-4 to the saturn now these are obviously my thoughts and my thoughts alone did i get it right what are your thoughts on these two games overall let me know with a comment down below and as always i'll be back in the near future with another video goodbye for now